I hate cold weather no matter what. doesn't matter where it is, whether it's handicapping football games or just being outside in the cold at all. <laughs> I despise it. I'm a shorts and a flip-flop kind of guy oh. year-round. T-shirts, too. But I, I know I know you love it, Benetta. Flip-flops <laughs> on airplanes. Going through the airport oh, barefoot, that's no. me all the time. All right. Here is the big detail we need here. I think we are mythologizing and allowing the legacy of the New England Patriots to artificially inflate this line to a degree that it should not be inflated. And in fact, let's look at what the Patriots look like compared to Team X, right? Over the course <laughs> oh, no. of this season, New England's been very mediocre, lost to five different teams that did not make He's the playoffs. So look at the points per game, points per game allowed, passer hmm. rating. This is almost identical. Who is Team X? Mid-Tennessee State. <laughs> voila, <laughs> voila, <laughs> voila, oh, there we go. It wow. is the Indianapolis Colts who They're were just Dunzo. dominated by the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be another domination. I actually think, guys, the Colts are better this year at quarterback. I think the Colts are better this year at wide receiver. I think the Colts are better this year at uh, at at, uh, oh, at tight Colts end. Yeah. And yeah. arguably, Marlon Mack has been better than Sony Michelle all year. So if the Colts, with all those weapons, couldn't make plays on the road against the Chiefs, why do we think the Patriots can? I think because we're only valuing the Patriots for what they have been, not what they are. That's why I like the Chiefs to win by double digits on go. Sunday.